Hello, and it is day 24 of 30 Days of Sketches, hosted by Christy's Beautiful Life, round 13. So this is for October of 2023. And this sketch, as you can see, is created by Sandra Tooth. And it's funny, looking at the sketch, I was like, wow, I only have one photo for this layout. And um, I had this memorabilia. I have folders with all the memorabilia from different trips. So this is one of two Animal Kingdom maps that I had picked up and saved. And because of kind of the circle element at the top and the bottom of this page, I'm going to take the map out of this map, but I'm going to cut it and use it as the top and bottom and put my one photo in between there. So without this sketch, I'm not sure how I would have incorporated this map. I know I wanted to because I had had it with the photo, but I'm not sure how it would have ended up. So I really encourage you if you're, I don't want to say shy of sketches, but I used to be where I had to follow the sketch exactly. So I would have gotten pieces of paper out and I would have cut them into triangles and I would have put them on the page just like this. And instead of the butterflies, I probably would have done my Mickey heads because I am doing that this month. But I really think that this sketch um, just helped me determine or it helped determine where this map was going to be on the page. So absolutely love this idea and that some of the decisions just become easier for me and it takes practice. So I encourage you to play along with these sketches, even if it's just at home, just do one after the other and you'll get better at them. I promise. So here I'm going to go ahead and cut my photo down. So it's a four by three. There's just too much empty space on the photo. That's not really telling or contributing to the story. So I'm going to cut that down. And again, because I only have one photo, I'm not going to put my journaling under the photos kind of like that she has. I'm going to do it beside the photo. And then I'm trying to figure out where I want a title. And I know I don't want to have that over top of the map. But what I'm thinking is that I'm going to have it along the left hand edge, kind of from top to bottom, something different. And I think with the journaling there, then to the right, that this will bottom or will balance out well. So now I'm going to slip a piece of white daisy cardstock under there. I went to my um, die cut folder and I pulled out my sheet that has the block letters on it. And now in my head, I'm trying to spell the word animal, which if you know me in real life, I am I'm known for being able to spell the same word multiple times in one paragraph. So that was a challenge. And then I'm looking for the word kingdom in my coloring book here. And they have a little tiny one under the 45th anniversary celebration. And at first I thought it was too little. And then I decided, you know, we're just going to make it work. So I cut it out and I loved doing the blocking that I did for yesterday's layout for the Legos. So now I am playing kind of it's mixed media esque in that I'm taking the ink and smearing it on that multi-purpose mat and adding just a little bit of water to it and then using an acrylic or an acetate sheet to kind of pull it up and just move it over to the paper. And normally having those two strong like corner edges would have bothered me, but I knew a lot of this was going to be covered up with the mats and I was just having fun with it today. So again, I encourage you to use sketches, I encourage you to just play with your stuff. I mean, why do we have it if we're not going to play with it and have fun with it, right? So now I'm pulling out the jade green, just kind of finishing the colors here. I will also add some lemonade and uh, toffee. I was trying to think of the right color and toffee to this. And you'll see that here in a minute. I did cut out the parts where I'm cleaning up my mat just so you don't have to see that every time. But this is how I do it. I just thought you might want to see it once. So that's how I clean it up. I just have my little shop towels here right on the desk cut into small squares. And then with the lemonade, I decided I wasn't going to smoosh it on with the acetate, but just go ahead and direct to paper ink it. And then this is from the design element stamp set. It's kind of the heavy concentrated small dots. I don't know how you would say that, but so I'm just using the toffee to kind of add in some interest there. So now I'm going to put my map pieces back down, kind of dry fit. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I really like to audition 
where my things are going to go and dry fit things so that I can get it just right. So I've adhered my map, I cut off all the edges that were overlapping the background, and then I wanted to show you before I cut out the word animal, I glue together two pieces of this jade cardstock. And what that does is then when I go to cut it out, and it cuts out beautifully on this little mini Gemini. I love having this because it's just right on my desk and it can cut all the small things and it just it lays down in the top drawer. So it's just handy and it's right here. But as you can see, as soon as I take this tape off, the pieces will just start falling out of the dies, even though it's two thicknesses thick of cardstock. It just cuts beautifully. So have all those out and the tape put back on the front of the machine because that's where I store it. And then I'm just playing around with the lettering here. And I have that little kingdom that I cut out. I'm going to go ahead and trim it up a little tighter. I really like closely trimmed embellishments. Um, that's why sometimes the thin cuts, it leaves too big of a border for me when it has a matching stamp set. I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm really particular about that. And then for this whole month, I have been using the color Candy Apple and then also either one of the die cuts from, or one of the Cricut cuts from the Mickey and Friends image set, or my friend Missy lent me her punches that punch out the Mickey faces. And so as long as the Candy Apple Red and one of those Cricut Cuts or Mickey heads is on my layout, that's kind of keeping the theme going throughout the whole month because all of these pages will be in one album at the end of the month. And I felt that my photo needed to have more interest, so I backed it with a thicker border of black. And then I also cut the letters out for the word animal again in black and offset them as you can see. And now I'm kind of trying to tie in some more of that with this embellishment from the die cuts from, I think there's three different um, collections here. Um, I want to say one was Hope and Kindness and one is It's the Small Things or something like that. It's the little thing. I don't even remember all of them. But, um, and one was Cherish. There are some pieces from the, yeah, the Cherish collection in here. So I just have them all in one little bin. Well, one stamp envelope, I should say. So I've dumped them out here and I'm just kind of going through and trying to find what works. I picked one of the bigger butterflies and I'm putting it on this candy apple red pattern paper and I'm going to cut out around it just so that my butterfly is kind of black with that candy apple. So the leaf seems a little big for the butterfly to me, so I'm going to exchange it for two smaller ones, but I end up playing around with this for a long time. Again, being a visual learner, I like to audition and move things around and see what works, and, and it's one of those things that a lot of times I know that this is right when my body goes, oh yeah, okay, it, it's almost like it relaxes. It's on edge or I'm holding my breath, I don't even realize it and then I can kind of I exhale. So while I was putting all those little die cuts away, I found these uh, three flowers that I thought would be a perfect addition to my cluster of embellishments. And so I'm just gonna glue those down here and this is done. I added my journaling, which basically says that I always tend to go to the animals and people really that are kind of on the edges of the activity, not big in the crowds. And this goat was a perfect candidate for my attentions. So be sure to check out the playlists that are in the description below the video and there's links there if you want to do any shopping. Blessings!